What is going on guys, Fitcho here and welcome back to the F1 2010 career modes round number 2, the Australian Grand Prix. Now I just want to thank you guys for the support on the first part, you guys absolutely killed it, you guys seem to really really enjoy it. So here we are again for round number 2. Now again, if you do enjoy this video, make sure to smash that like button and if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. But today, we have the Australian Grand Prix at Albert Park, our home race, so let's jump into it and see how we do. Okay, it sounds like we have some R&D to do, so I'll jump into that, but it looks like it's going to be rain, heavy rain for qualifying, and a 13% chance of rain for the race. So it's going to be interesting, but I'm going to go do the R&D objective. Okay, for the R&D, I have to beat a 1 minute 41 second lap to reduce some... Oh, that's going to be easy, let's just go and do that. Okay, that's our first spin of practice. Oh, and there goes the front wing. Oh, I've created carnage. Oopsie daisies. Oh shit, I've changed camera. How have I not got damage from any of that? Okay. Here we go, it is time for qualifying, and it says that there's a 78% chance of rain. We looked earlier, it said it was going to be heavy rain, and I can't really see any rain at the moment. So we need to get out quick smart, and try and get some laps under our belt, and I should actually just chuck a little bit of a setup on. I have been running no setup, so I'm just going to drop put a little bit of a setup on. I don't really know the um, setup on um, F1 2010, I've never played with setups on F1 2010 before. So, yeah, I'm just going to play with those two little things and see how that goes. Okay, guys, let's get these changes made ASAP. So, yeah, it, it's dry at the moment, which makes no sense. There's going to be 78% chance of rain, so these first few laps are going to be key. Oh, we've had a spin. Okay, the rain is definitely starting to come down now. The lap times are nowhere near what they were at the start of the session, so I'm guessing we'll probably be starting around 6th place for the actual race, unless somehow someone manages manages to improve in these conditions, but I don't think that's going to happen considering it was. This is going to be heavy rain apparently very, very soon, so 6th place I think it's going to be on the grid, which I'm quite happy with to be honest. Only one spin I think in qualifying, so it's... That's alright. So, we will be starting the race from 6th place. Like I thought, no one actually improved on their lap times. As you can see in the sort of the background, the rain has actually got quite heavy. And no, like I said, no one could improve. So, we will be starting our home race from P6. And considering we are in a Williams, I am pretty happy with that. Where is our teammate? Our teammate, Rubens, is down in 17th. So, to get in the top 6, while well, our teammate's down in 17th, it's a pretty good effort in a Williams, so I'm happy with that. Let's jump into our home GP and see how we do. Here we are in Melbourne. It's race day, and just look outside. It is pissing it down. It's going to be a wet start. It says there's only a 13% chance of rain, so it might dry up during the race, but it is only a 12-lap race, so it's going to be interesting. It's going to be a wet start here in Melbourne, but it's not going to be behind the safety car. Unlike real life, we're going to have a proper wet start here today, unlike real life. So if you've been watching real life F1 lately, and I'm, I assume you all have, you'll have seen Monaco and Silverstone were both a bit wet before the race, just a little bit of water on the track, and Charlie's like, nope, safety car safety car and then he had it out in Silverstone which is just on the weekend he had the safety car out for the wet for seven laps the safety car pulled in half the field followed for inters I need to stop rambling and ranting about the safety car but today ladies and gentlemen you will be witnessing a proper wet weather start how it should be done 
unlike how F1 do it now, but let's jump into the Australian Grand Prix, our home Grand Prix. We'll be starting out at 6, and it's going to be a good one. Let's go. So, here we are, a wet Melbourne, our home Grand Prix. We're starting R6, a good starting position. We've got four lights, we've got five lights. It is lights out, and away we go at our home Grand Prix, and it's wet. And we're racing down into turn one, how it should be in real life. But unlike real life, we actually go right to the outside, because the AI love to park it on the apex of turn number one, and Weather has just backed out of it. And we're up into P3 as we now head down to turn number three, and I just can't quite pick out where to break while I was in the spray of Lewis Hamilton, so I had to lift and pull out of it. Now, I will say that I have turned the TC up from medium to full just because I could not. I could not complete lap one with it on medium. It was absolutely impossible in the wet weather conditions. I'm not normally a pad user, and I am using a pad, so it does make it a bit more challenging than normal. So, yeah, I am having to run TC, because, oh my god, I have... Sorry, Lewis. Sorry. Somehow, I did not get a penalty for that. I do not know how, but I just missed my braking zone, or just didn't quite get my braking right for the conditions and I just tapped him and round he went but we're into second probably undeservingly in a way but it didn't give me a penalty and he was spun around I couldn't just sort of wait and let him through because I was going to lose so many places and again I've just run it a little bit deep into I think that is turn 14 or 13 but there you go ladies and gentlemen you just witnessed a proper wet start a proper racing wet start without a Mercedes out the front that shouldn't normally be there, how it should be done in real life, and there was no incidents at turn one or turn two or three. The only incident happened further around the lap when I just got my braking a little wrong, and that could have happened on any racing lap with two cars in close proximity. So a wet start, Charlie, get rid of the safety car. Let them race, please, for the love of God. Like he's gonna watch this video though. Oh lucky. This car is very tailored. Well, not so much this car. The Force India was a lot worse, as you will know from episode one. But this game in general is very easy to spin out. Even with traction control on, it's really easy to spin out. You just sort of turn in a little bit, and the back end just wants to step out. Not even when you're even off the throttle. It's really, really tricky on this game. You've got to be so careful, even with TC. Okay, end of lap number five, and we are coming into the pit lane for our first and probably only stop of the race. And there you can see Fernando Alonso, the race leader, has pitted in for a second there. We were the race leader, but we have come into the pits. Come on, there we go. For a second, I thought we were getting held, but it always seems to do that on this game. We're about five or three to five seconds off Alonso, and then we had about seven to nine seconds back to Rosberg at the end of that first stint but it seems to be drying up a little bit but not really enough to get off the intermediate so we'll probably probably be going to the end on these tyres and hopefully we can try and catch up to Fernando Alonso but if we don't it's probably going to end up being quite a boring race oh no oh come on come on that's what I mean I just braked turned into the hairpin and off throttle, the car just span around. I don't really know what I can do to try and avoid that. It's just a really, it's really tricky conditions, and it's so easy to do that at the very slow corners. But looking at the rain, it is starting to dry up a little bit. Alonso is getting away from us. I think Liuzzi and Muemi also held up Button and Weber behind us. So I think we've actually got a really big gap to them so we're sort of in no man's land right now in second place but it'll be interesting if it does dry up a little bit but it is drying up a little bit the rain is still falling and there's still a little bit of spray so I doubt in the um, last three laps will end up changing onto dry tires as you can see on the right my tires are really worn already which is a little bit worrying with two and a bit laps still to go and we have just turned the car around. Unbelievable. Flick spin. 
Oh, we've, fl we've spun too far. We've actually just flicked, flick spinned too far, and we've just lost second place. Unbelievable. And now our right tire, our rear right, is now red. Oh, God. Oh, both our rear tires are red now. Ow, oh, and our front left as well. This is... This is not good with two whole laps to go. I have no idea if the tires can explode in this game or not. I really hope they can't, but for some reason I... Oh, no. The car's just spun. Oh, well, we've done a flick spin. Oh, Vettel came very close to us. And the yellow flag stopped him from overtaking us. Okay. Interesting. We're in fourth place still. Our tires are shot. We have two laps left. We've bottled second. We've bottled third. And we're probably going to bottle fourth at this rate. Oh my god. My tires have shat themselves. And I've bottled many more positions. I just turned into the corner and there was no grip at all. And we are still in the points for now. And... Algaswari, I mean Liuzzi and then Algaswari. And we're now going to the next corner and they've... Unbelievable. Oh boy oh boy. And our tyres just shot themselves. We're racing Degrassi now. Is he on dry tyres? Are these guys on dry tires? He's on dry tires! Oh, for God's sake, why are we still on inters? Why have we been left out on inters all this time? No call to come in or anything? I'm just gonna have to tough out this last lap on intermediates in pretty dry conditions. Oh, and we've spotted in turn two. Unbelievable. And we are now dead last. Oh, we've spun it again. You know, if I slow down, will Fernando Alonso eventually come around? Because I want to see what tyre he is on. He must surely still be on intermediates. Because he couldn't have gone to dries at that stage when we pitted, I wouldn't said. It was too early to go into dries, I reckon. Wait, what? It's changed and now Lucas Degrassi is now in first? What? What is going on? Why does it say Lucas Degrassi has won the race? Why is it... What is going on? It says Lucas Degrassi has won the race when it had said Alonso up until now. Will the rest of the field come, come around? It doesn't seem like they're going to because in other games you can usually see them come around again if you like a really, really long way back. But it doesn't look like they're going to, so I'll never know what tire Fernando Alonso pitted for. I might actually have a look when we get back, when I edit it and look in the pit stop so I can check then. But it says Lucas Degrassi has won the race. I'm not too sure what's going on there. But our tires are absolutely shot. We were on the wrong... Wait, 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 wait. I've just accelerated too much. I'm going to see them as they come in the pits. What tire is he on? Oh, he's actually coming around. I didn't see. I'm actually retarded. Here comes Jensen. He's on dry tires! And I've got a penalty. A 20 second penalty! He's on dry tires, for God's sake. What? He, if he pitted at the same time as us, how the hell did he have any grip? Well, I am baffled right us. now. I am, the I am baffled as to how that worked. We got 40 seconds worth of penalties there in the end. Wow. But who won this race? The moment of truth. <laughs> oh my... What? <laughs> what? What are you? Um. <laughs> it, the 
thinks Lucas Degrassi has actually won. <laughs> oh my god, I don't know what to say. I really do not know what to say to that. But Lucas Degrassi has apparently won the Australian Grand Prix and lapped everyone within 12 laps. Lucas, you are not Joseph Newgarten. Who do you think you are? You cannot lap everyone. I... <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't know what to say. <laughs> um, yeah, Lucas Degrassi has apparently won the Australian Grand Prix. Even though Alonso was first across the line, Lucas Degrassi has been given the race win from Fernando Alonso, then Jensen Button, and Lucas Degrassi somehow glitching into a win has actually pushed Mark Webber, the Australian, off a home podium. But then you got behind him is Sebastian Vettel and Pedro de la Rosa, a fair way up in sixth place, lofty for his BMW BMW Sauber. Then you got Cubit. Uh, Kubica, or Kubica, however you want to say his name. Then Rosberg, Liuzzi, and Alguasari rounding out the points. You had notable names not finishing inside the points. You had Lewis Hamilton, Michael Schumacher. You had Bruno Senna in a HRT up in 13th. The Lotus up in 14th, the Truly. Then Buemi Kobayashi. There's some really mixed results. Massa, Felipe Masters ended up down in 18th. And then we are last place with 40 seconds worth of penalties. Wowie, I do not know what to make of that race. We're going so well, second was in the bag, and then all of a sudden all the AI just glitched onto dry tires or something. I don't know how that worked. At lap five, the track was still soaked. I don't know how you could survive a lap with dry tires at that stage. Um, I'm rather confused, but we've ended up absolutely bottling that race and finishing in dead last, unless they pitted sort of while I was spinning around possibly but it does it actually tell you sort of how many pit stops they did no it doesn't okay I'm a little confused there okay having a look back at the pit stop in the replay cam looking at the Ferrari of Fernando Alonso if I rewinded to here you can see the tires that they've just put onto the car look like from here Dry tires, which I don't understand how it could be putting dry tires on at this stage of the race. They look like dry tires. Hopefully, I look back because I don't actually have any control over where the camera is. This is just where I was looking when I was actually going. But they are definitely dry tires on Fernando Alonso's car, which kind of baffles me because the team just wanted me to be on inters. They would, they would not let me go onto the um, onto the um dry tires for some reason they just they were I'm on inters that's what they said so I'm like okay because I don't know it didn't wasn't really drying up that much at this stage but it still looks really wet I don't know how you could survive a lap in conditions like these I can't actually sort of look back or wait till I look back at some stage you can try and see the spray but it's, you can still see it is really really wet just look at the, the um spray coming up off the front tires I don't know how on earth they all swapped to dry tires at this stage of the race and managed to survive. I really don't get it, but that is what happened. So let's have a look at the driver's champion. <laughs> oh my god. Fernando Alonso leads the driver's championship from Mark Webber in second. And then um, Lucas Degrassi in third place. Yes, Lucas Degrassi is currently in third place. Place. Then Jensen Button, Nico Rosberg, then we are down in six ahead of Sebastian Vettel. And our teammate, Lewis Hamilton's down in 16th. Still yet to score a point. So he mustn't have scored any points in Bahrain either. I'm not too sure what happened to him in Bahrain. But our teammate, Rubens Barrichello, is down in stone dead last. Really pulling your weight there, with Rubens, in the Constructors' Championship, which we're actually in sixth place. Um... And the lead of the constructors is Ferrari, then it's Red Bull, and then it's Virgin. Tied on points with McLaren. Yes, Virgin and McLaren are tied on points. Like, I know McLaren and Honda are bad, but... Wait, no, this is 2010. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> oh, yep, yeah, that's a rather interesting glitch. And then we're in um, sixth place behind Mercedes. Oh, that's a little disappointing. A big red cross on our race objective. We still make it to level four, and that's about it. Oh, it looks like we've got an interview. Hey, legend, over here. Okay, we've well, got an interview. Aspirations for the current season, and do you have any personal objectives that you want to achieve? Okay, Crofty. 
Do you have any objectives for the season? Um, let's go. Are we taking the season race by race? Do you think your performance this weekend was a true reflection of what you and your car are capable of? Um, let's go with the let's wait and see. It's been a hectic start to the season for most of the drivers. How's it panning out for you? Shit. Um. Very interesting. Uh, let's go with very interesting, because that's how it is. Hey, did I mention that you can view driver and constructor standings on this screen? Yes, yes, yes. I know, I know, I know. But there we go. Up next is the Malaysian Grand Prix at Kuala Lumpur, but that will be in the next episode. That is all for today. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching me completely bottle the race and go on to intermediates in wet conditions and all the other AI somehow managed to go on to dry tyres and not crash out. And then my intermediates absolutely shitting themselves on Lucas Degrassi coming through to win the race. But if you did enjoy all of that, make sure you smash that like button. And if you're on the channel, make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.